Fight TV!
Hello, welcome to Fake TV. I'm here with Franco Bolo. They just played a badass set, and we're all wearing hats. Yeah. Fuck yeah. We were all wearing hats uh, now, but you were wearing a hat already. Why is it that you wear a hat? Because <laughs> people who have hats win. People who have hats win? That, that's it. Why, do, why do people who have hats win? I don't know, I just made it up. <laughs> he just made it up. That's the kind of freestyle improv we're getting with tonight. So, Frank, how, how is that for you? To, your hat's fallen off. How does, no, how does no, that feel? It doesn't stick on my head. It's really annoying. And it gets me, like, you know, the electrostatic thing. I studied it in school. You studied it in school. Where, did yeah. you, where, where were you at school? On the internet. On the internet? Yeah. So, yeah, that's nice. You study on the internet. You study on the you internet. You might have heard of it before. I've never heard it. Yeah, the internet. Oh. It's apparently, it's quite big right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How was that set for you, man? Did you have a lovely time? Yeah, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it was cool. You could sum up that uh, set in one word. What would that word be? Um, fake. Fake. No, if you could, not. if you no, could sum it up in one word, what would that word be? <laughs> Me. Yeah, you. Monotron. Monotron. Yeah. If you could sum up your set in one word, what would that word be? Air conditioned. Air conditioned, and m helmet. You've taken the helmet off, man. Bait. Bait. Oh. Nice. Oh. That is cool. I tried to do a rhyme. They're no, uh, trying to rhyme. Yeah. You said fake. I said fake. Yeah, there's been a lot of, uh, I should say, there's been a lot of rhyming going on tonight because we have a tiny fucking hip hop deck keyboard. Let's do it, boys. <laughs> this is this is if the interview goes. So, bad. have you considered maybe breaking away and kind of like uh, just just getting involved with maybe doing some kind of really minimal hip hop? If there's a way of making all four of us do it together, it's a small yeah. it's a small entity to, to operate, but. If we can crowd around it's it. The crowd around it. There's, there's, there's a few different things to twist, so we could all man one each. You can man one. That would be yeah. sexy. We could do that. Yeah. So you, got, you guys have all had a lovely gig tonight. Are you, are you based in London? Are you, I, I hear rumours that you're uh, Swedish. Is this true? Some. Some, some of you Swedish. shit, man. Have I just wait, throw wait, wait, that shit do around? You, let's you do it again. Yes. Who's Swedish in here? You're Swedish. <laughs> well. <thank> you're <laughs> Swedish. Yes. You're Swedish. You're, uh, n you're no. Danish. You're Norwegian. Ooh. You're a Viking. Finish. He's you're finished. Being a it's not finished yet. We've still got hours to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're all Swedish, apart from you, who's Finnish. Do you all live in London? Yeah. yeah. So you're making it. You're making it happen in London. How do you? How do you find London? How is? How is it for you, boys? <laughs> we ask Sean. Ask Sean. Sean, how do you find London compared to Finland? <laughs> yeah, prepare for that question. Well. It's lovely playing gigs and stuff, but um, <laughs> it's just too fucking expensive, man. <laughs> I, isn't Finland exceptionally expensive? I don't know. I've never been. <laughs> never. <laughs> he's not Finnish. He lying. You were lying. No, 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 no. He's he's half Swedish and half something else. Uh, there's a gold banana, by the way. Yeah. Um, so, what what are your musical inf influences? Do you have any Scandinavian heroes? Uh, Abba. Abba. Yeah. Uh, this band yeah, here. Who, who are that band? Bob Hund. Tell us about him or them. Uh, it's a band uh, from Sweden and they're the best band. The best band in the world. Are they, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being really ignorant. Are they, uh, are they contemporary? Are they, uh, were they around a while ago? Uh, were they still, medieval? They're still around, but they're like, they're mainly, they started off in the 90s, 90. Yeah. I think they released the first record in 94 or something. Okay. Uh, what is it about them that you, it's you just like? They're, they have completely their own thing there's no one like him okay there's no one like him no one writes songs like them it's the mix of everything as well like synthesizers and like blues guitars and sometimes just indie guitars and then the vocalists that's the that band is the only reason why you should learn to speak swedish sam so do they so, so do they so do they they uh they they sing in swedish yeah, yeah. and you, you guys sing it you guys sing in english yeah. Obviously, as I saw you, uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of Scandinavian bands sing in uh, sing in English. Do you guys do you sing any songs in Swedish? I, I suggest by your by your tone then that maybe Sam can't speak Swedish. So it's is, not very you, good. It's not okay, very good. <laughs> you don't have any songs in Swedish then. We do. We, there's one, Klaus song. It's a song where we play instrumental, but our friend Klaus reads his poem over it. It's, uh, it makes it it makes it so much more. Um, meaningful in Swedish it sounds so much more majestic coming from a, a, in a Swedish tongue because it sounds terrible if you get up and do an English poem yeah. it just wouldn't work would it man it'd be terrible 
So can you understand what they're saying in Swedish? Or do you just like the rhythm, the, like the phonetics of it all? It's very, um, would you describe it as sound like you're speaking underwater? It's like, oh, bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> Which is kind of a wrong thing for me to say because I'm surrounded by them. It's very racist. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a little bit racist. But I, I would agree, or xenophobic maybe, let's be precise. I would say in some ways that I watch, you know, Scandinavian television. It's got a kind of, it's got a rhythm to it. Would you say that, that's an interesting question, in music, like, how much does it actually matter what you're saying? Or is it about the phonetics? It's the first thing that think. comes to my ear is the sound. And then obviously if you like the sound, you listen again. And then you listen to the, the words. Okay. So it's kind of like that the sound, it's the sound that kind of lends it the meaning foremost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, you can say one word in a thousand, in a thousand ways. Yeah. So depending on how you say it, it, it has to do with the sound. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because I went to see Simon Armitage once who had a band and he's a poet. The thing that felt with him was like it was so lyrically heavy that almost the, the music kind of distorted it. Yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. But you do do poetry over music and you think that works? Yeah, I think it works, yeah. yeah. What is your writing process? Do you guys, do you, is this one of you kind of focus more on lyrics or do you want to come up and go, go, I've got some great lyrics and then someone slaps in a bit of bass? Or so is no, there's it never great lyrics. Really. There's never great <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Because okay. I write them in the shit. Okay, you write, so you, <laughs> you largely do the lyrics? Yeah. Okay. How do you write? Do you keep a notebook with you or do you just do you stare at a computer screen? I got a new sketchbook the other day. So okay. I writing in. Um, yeah. Or well, usually, you just, if, you're, if you're recording, you just kind of, you make up the lyric in your head and then you don't write it down, you just sing it straight away. So you kind of record it by recording it, mm. the audio, the, okay. the, the sound. So is it, is it a different writing process to doing it? verbally or doing it writing it down that's those I guess, two. yeah because you can kind of as soon as you write it down it kind of has a different meaning doesn't yeah it? like when you read it on a paper it's much more if you would sing if you would someone would give you a lyric and you like sing this you would sing it differently if, if someone just sang you the lyric or they wrote you the lyric okay yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah. Where are we going cool. with this? No, I just I was just interested. <laughs> oh, I was just, right, right, cool. I just interested in the minutiae of the writing process. Yeah, I think I was just interested in what, what yeah, you guys yeah, yeah. are doing. So we'll we'll go back to the kind of jet we'll go back just to the hip hop. Let's all just get involved with that for a second. I'm trying to say Sounds something. like I think that might be an alien communication <laughs> or either that or you've got a tiny nose. Well, that's the way we can we're not we're not on Facebook. Asian person. person. Asian person. So it might be connections to the UFOs. So you might so Asian people have connections to you. Have, what it, so it does sound a lot like a sitar. <laughs> that maybe is what you is it like spiritual? Well, you never know. Which <laughs> it's got a pitch and a cut off. It's got a pitch and a code. That's pretty fucking sci-fi. Pretty <laughs> spiritual. So one final question before we go. We'll do a little bit of PR. Where can we find out about you guys? And are you are you gigging in the near future? Um, go to yeah. frankabolamusic.com. Okay. And everything is on there. Frankabolamusic.com. Yeah. Okay. And you gig largely in London, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We play all the time here. Okay. And that's still happening. Okay. So that's been a tiny gnome or sci-fi Indian sitar player trapped within a tiny keyboard. I've been Robin. This has been Fake TV. And Thank this you, has been Robin. Franco Bolo. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. What is it? Oi! 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 Cake TV? Fake TV! Gotta come and see the fake club girls performing in the venue now!
Gentlemen, welcome back to Fake HQ. Yes. 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 It's a excitement, in. I like it. And and let's face it, girls of the hour, oh, oh, oh. Fake Club have just finished on stage. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what? Yeah, I've been freezing my tits off downstairs for the cause. But I, um, <laughs> thanks, cheers. But I, uh, I, I rock my tits out, those are my tits, to, um, to Fake Club. How was that for you? Was that emotional? Quite emotional, yes it was. On a scale of one to off your head on emotional, how emotional was that? <laughs> off my head. Yeah, yeah. And, and the backflip as well. The backflip as well, that's impressive. Um, you guys had quite a lot of kind of crotch heavy guitar movements. Is that something you practice or does that just come naturally to <laughs> yeah. you and your yeah. crotch? Yeah, Vicky Got comes good naturally, to be honest, yeah, yeah. You, you haven't you haven't just practiced that. That's just something that's born within you, like a kind of monster ready to be unleashed beautifully. We're all just pretty bottom heavy. <laughs> bottom heavy. <laughs> there was a lot of hair swinging. There was a lot of hair swinging, head bashing, foot stamping. I loved it. The energy was mental. It was fierce. Can we go back to uh, Vicky's bass face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bass face. The bass yeah. face. Wanna, yeah. You ha you have you have to do a pout. I was exceptionally it's turned either, on. Victoria, 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 I was turned like on. Stood out. side by stage right next to you. It worked. <laughs> I mean, it was a serious bass face. We were enjoying it, were we not? We were all enjoying it. Oh, Xantha was enjoying it. <laughs> I was trying to impersonate it personally, but I was just like... <laughs> I'll teach you. Yeah, we'll get Ollie's hair was totally dry before it happened. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going to say. So, um... You guys, you guys are really <laughs> fucking good, by the way. Because I haven't, I haven't actually seen you live, and um, I nearly fractured my own neck um, <laughs> with a head banging. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, what is this was, this was, a, this was a sexy gig. But what is, what, what has been, what's been your ultimate gig story? What's been the most amazing place you've ever played in the history of Fake Club? <laughs> Be the best place we've ever played was we supported one time. James Blunt. Rock Whoa! Most rock and roll Whoa! of all rock god icons, yeah. James Blunt and his wailing guitars. <laughs> that was it. It was off the chain. They loved us. They hated us. <laughs> oh, no, Is it true what they say about James Blunt that he's very kind of, you know, he's very nice on camera, but on the backstage he's just kind of just smashing his head no, into he things, was, swearing. He, 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 he was really, really, really nice. nice. And he like fought, we, we got cancelled to play that show. We got booked and we got cancelled because their management heard us That's and freaked cool. the fuck out because we're obviously not really James Blunt's audience kind of friendly. Um, but James know. Blunt like said, no, 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 I want them to play and like got us back on the show. So oh, nice. he's a nice guy. Yeah. Really he's nice. a nice guy. He, all of us would snog him though. Uh, <laughs> we, we would you snog him? Okay, so yeah. Okay. Did you? Was so he a good kisser? Really good, yeah. It was beautiful. Oh, <laughs> she did it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So sorry. She oh, went there. Can we please draw attention to the fact that Rosie is wearing five-year-old rollerblading knee pads? I was so about to say that, yes. I mean, uh, explain. Uh, you do tend to spend a lot of time on your knees. <laughs> hey. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> CD. I'm not talking from personal experience. <laughs> I'm not, I promise. <laughs> I know, there you go. Oh. Um, those knee pads definitely came in useful in auditions. Um, oh. <laughs> can we also talk about Aisha and the drumming? She nearly made my old man have a heart attack. He's 70 years old. Hey. He's in the audience He's and he was so impressed. Look, he's telling me to shush. He was so impressed by your drumming. Right he now. was close to, uh, to, to mm, I, I would say, ejaculating. Yeah, but then that would be slightly wrong because my mother is here as well. Yes. But Aisha. when you drum, you really go for it. You rock out. Hey. Yeah, of course. You have to, don't you? Of course, yeah. yeah you are yeah. the backbone to is the fake club girls. You really are. Thank you. You've got, you've got, you've got your power and her gurn face. 
Yeah. And Rosie's knee pads. Yeah, Dream Heaven Rhythm Section. And these two just gyrating on guitars. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's, it's a recipe They've for... They've actually got like a bit of like a, a dance routine almost with their guitars together. <laughs> I was watching that. They're like looking at each other like, oh, yeah. Improvised. Like, improvised. improvised rocking. It looked sick. How did, how did you guys meet? Ooh, Ikea. Ikea. Yeah, Ikea. Ikea. <laughs> was it, is it, do you still have a poncho for flat pack furniture? It's a fucking nightmare, isn't it? But, you know, they deliver sofas in boxes. Yeah. Who does that? You've got a real pet hate against Ikea. What happened? Who? Now, yeah, I have now. <laughs> so this is like, this is the launch of um, yeah. fake TV. Oh, yes. Could you, this yes. is they're pretty fucking exciting. Woo. So you've kind of, yeah. <laughs> Fake TV. <laughs> That's nice. It is nice. It's really nice. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that, Rosie, with your hat on? What, about fake TV. Yes. Fake TV. We're, we just wanted to do a new music show, and I think we, you know, we wanted to bring it home to where we rehearse and where we play, and wanted to invite a lot of bands that we really loved um, to play for us, and also for to, uh, for um, the public to learn a little bit more about them as well. So we thought it was a good opportunity. We think it's about time for a new music show. I think this could be it. So we'll see what happens. So this is fake TV. It's kind of like a massive party in which uh, Fake Club get all their good friends down, have a huge party, and then attempt to capture it on film. Yes. 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 Yeah. Well that, said. That's basically it. Yeah. So. Great. Okay. Great. Thank, thank you guys too thanks. for coming. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. This has been Fake TV. Hey, this has been Fake Club. Should we give them one big round of applause? Big yeah. Time. Let's go dance! Let's go fucking dance! <laughs>